and welcome everybody to today's edition of Mexico News Network's Breaking News. I'm your host, Safiro Fierro. Remember to follow us on all of our social networks and to catch us every day by logging on to our website, mexiconewsnetwork.com, for relevant stories and news. Let's start with today's show. Ever since the last decade, numbers have been slightly down in tourism due to a number of financial reasons like the U.S. stock market crash in 2008, Hurricane Wilma in Cancun on 2005, and the SARS alert in 2009. Plus the fact that most hotels rely on their all-inclusive packages to get their most for their income. Thus keeping their guests captive in a sense. They don't go out to restaurants or on tours as much as they used to. Nonetheless, according to a study done by marketing consultants, Cancun has, been, has seen an increase in its tourist entries, although the overall consumption in other services from different markets has decreased. Up until August 2015, there has been an increase where there hasn't been one since 2011. The average hotel occupancy was of 83.5%. This means an increase of 3.2 million more tourists against 2014. Cancun, little by little, is gaining back its lost terrain due to external financial factors. The study claims it is gaining back its international middle-class tourism that was lost during the world crisis. This study was presented by the Ministry of Tourism in Quintana Roo, the Office of Visitors and Conventions, or OVC, and marketing consultants, whom, since 1992, document the fa and file the behavior of visitors on a monthly basis. And it counts with a database of more than 275,000 polls, including the Mayan Riviera. Spotify, the streaming music company, a few days ago presented the Mexican category, which has 20 playlists that include the most representative genres of the country. The purpose of this new category is to present the diversity of music that exists in the country, and at the same time to encourage emerging artists looking to promote their songs through this platform. According to statistics from Spotify, Mexico is one of the countries with the highest activities within the platform. It occupies a third place in the number of consumers of music in the world. And Mexico City is a number one music consumer of local and international artists. For this reason, the company decided to promote the music that is created in the country in order to strengthen the position of Mexico as a producer, consumer, and a market that is constantly developing. In the makeup industry, Sephora is highly regarded as a beauty tail tailblazer, but they don't just rest on pretty. Their latest initiative, named Sephora Accelerate, is a program for female entrepreneurs in the Americas. Sephora Accelerate is a part of Sephora Stands, which encompasses initiatives for local communities, entrepreneurs, and Sephora employees. This program seeks to build a community of female founders in the beauty industry, giving them the tool like instruction, mentorship, and access to funding. The program begins with a one-week boot camp where founders acquire the necessary skills to create a successful business. Together, they learn from beauty mentors and seasoned entrepreneurs and prepare for a final demo day in the fall. The invitation to apply was back in December 2015. Then on March 2016th, Cohart announced which was the group of female entrepreneurs. The boot camp started on April 24th and with Demo Day on August 29th. Sephora Accelerate aims to support 50 female beauty industry entrepreneurs between now and 2020. Moving on, Great Place to Work Institute is a global research consulting and training company dedicated to helping organizations to identify, create, and sustain great workplaces. The company makes every year the ranking of the best companies to work in for more than 52 countries. And a few days ago, they released the best companies to work in Mexico. This ranking is the result of a process of detailed analysis and is considered the most important and exhaustive in the world, since it is based on a rigorous research that is focused on the op opinions of the workers. In Mexico, the model and mythology of Great Place to Work is certified by the Mexican Institute of Standardization and Certification, and it has the acceptance of the Grant Thornton firm. One of the best companies in Mexico are Gentera, Infonavit, Liverpool, Smart Supermarkets, Scotiabank Mexico, BBVA Bancomer, Atento Mexico, Santander, Volkswagen de Mexico, and Chedraui. 
on a special note. And finally, elections in Mexico took place on Sunday and a significant change occurred. Focusing on Quintana Roo, Carlos Joaquin from the Pan PRD Alliance is at the head uh, with a significant difference. But what does this represent for the state, which for 42 years was pre territory? This mainly means that people wanted a change and they got it. But who is Carlos Joaquin? He has worked for airline enterprises such as Aerovías Caribe, Aerocosumel, and regional mobile phone Portatel del Sureste. The United Nations organization presented him with the Inter International Gender Equality Award for local governments upon his policy titled The Value of Women. This program supported an empowerment vision for women and gender integrity. In 2008, he was appointed Secretary of Tourism for the government of Quintana Roo State, contributing to the rise in hotel occupancy rates and the tourism expenditure. He was elected president for the Tourism Commission, which he headed until 2012. During his term, he promoted the discussion and approval of an update to the general tourism law, when promoted with his colleagues from all the political parties to set a permanent dialogue roundtable with all the stakeholders of the tourism industry in Mexico, which led to build the National Agreement on Tourism. In other words, he has proven to be a capable man and with plenty of good ideas and significant change for Quintana Roo. This was all for today. Thank you for staying with us. I'm your host, Safiro Fierro. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Also, log on to MexicoNewsNetwork.com for more information on Mexico and the world. Until next time.